Frankie and I went to the beach. Annette came to the beach with Frankie and me. Why did I use I in the first sentence and me in the second sentence? It depends on if you are the subject or the object of the sentence. If you're the subject, you're doing something. But if you're the object, something is being done to you. I do something, but something is done to me. We rarely have trouble with this idea at the start of a sentence. Are you ever tempted to say, me went to the beach? I've never accidentally said that. In the sentence, I went to the beach, I is a subject, so you use a subject pronoun. It's just like in the sentence, Frankie went to the beach. Frankie is a subject. You could replace that subject with a subject pronoun, he. He went to the beach. Remember, subject pronouns include I, he, she, you, we, and they. We use the pronoun me when the pronoun is the object of a verb or a preposition. Annette hugged me. Annette came to the beach with me. Here, Annette is a subject and me is the object. If you use I instead, it sounds wrong. Annette hugged I. Annette came to the beach with I. I doesn't work here because it's a subject pronoun and we need an object pronoun. It's odd, isn't it, that it's so much harder when there's a compound object? But it's the same idea. Annette came to the beach with Frankie and me. You could also say Annette came to the beach with us. You wouldn't say Annette came to the beach with we. That's because here you need an object pronoun, not a subject pronoun. The list of object pronouns include me, him, her, you, us, and them. Here's a trick to beat this problem with compound subjects and compound objects. To make sure you've picked the right pronoun, check to see if the sentence sounds right if you remove the additional word, either in the subject or the object. For example, do we say Susan and I camped in Yosemite or Susan and me camped in Yosemite? Let's take out Susan and make it simpler. I camped in Yosemite. Yes. Me camped in Yosemite. No. We want a subject pronoun, so we should use I. Let's try another one. Which sounds right? Halloween was always a special day for my sister and me. Or, Halloween was always a special day for my sister and I. Let's take out my sister and see if that's easier. Halloween was always a special day for me. Yes, that sounds good. Halloween was always a special day for I. No, do you see why that's the wrong choice? I is a subject pronoun. We're looking for an object pronoun, so we should use me. Whatever you do, don't use myself instead of I or me. Don't do it. Myself is a very special word, very commonly abused and misused. Myself is an example of a reflexive pronoun. Reflexive pronouns are always objects, never subjects. What's more, they always refer back to the subject. Here's an example. I cut myself. This is something you did to yourself. You use myself when you are the object of your own action. There's one other special case for using the word myself as an intensive pronoun. This is when the word is used as an intensifier to provide emphasis. I did it all myself. Notice the sentence still makes sense without the word myself. I did it all. Let's try some practice sentences. Me, myself, or I went to the store and bought some ice cream for me, myself, or I. I went to the store and bought some ice cream for myself. Here, I is a subject and myself is a reflexive pronoun. Please give the completed forms to John or me, myself, or I. Please give the completed forms to John or me. Here, me is the object. Remember, you can simplify by taking out John and reading the sentence to see if it makes sense. Please give the completed forms to me. If you find our series on English grammar helpful, share it with someone you care about. And if you feel very strongly about the merits of our programming here on Socratica, consider becoming our patron on Patreon. You'll be helping us make more of the high-quality videos you know and love. Thank you.